limited. As you can see, it's finished off in a silver exterior, which looks very nice on the Elantra. Outside, you can see this one does have your body colored door handles, as well as your body colored mirrors with turn signal indicators built in. Up top, this one does have a sunroof and your satellite radio antenna right there. And this car is a fantastic deal, especially for the amount of features you get in this top of the line limited trim. This was a one owner new car trade in, and despite the miles, this one is in amazing shape inside now. Around the rear, you can see your Elantra and limited badges on this one. Over here, this one is riding on Milestar tires, which are in good shape, and they are 215 45 R17s, so 17-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And up front, this one does have halogen headlights, fog lights, and you can see your chrome accented grille. It does have your typical Hyundai key fob with lock, unlock, trunk release, and your key right there. And stepping inside, this one does have the gray leather interior, which is also in fantastic shape for the miles. This one does also have the original floor mats. As you can see, go ahead and start it. Just insert the key. And like I said, for the miles, this one is in amazing shape. This one does have 153,000 miles, but you'd never be able to tell by the way it runs and drives. Inside, you can see this one does have the leather wrap steering wheel, your audio system, cruise controls on the wheel your trip odometer controls over here, and then Bluetooth voice controls over here. Nice and light power steering. On the door itself, up top in the Elantra, it's all a rubberized material, fits together pretty good. The nice thing about the Limited is all the touch points are very well appointed. You have padded leather on the door, padded leather on the armrest, automatic driver's side window, power windows, power mirrors, power locks. Over here, your gauge shimmer, traction control on and off. And then right here, you have your headlight controls, as well as your gauge dimmer down here, like I said, which you can't adjust. Dashboard itself is a rubberized material up top, high quality, it feels great. In the middle, you have your gauges, your tachometer, speedometer, and then your engine temperature and fuel gauge in the middle, average speed, and then your odometer, which like I said, 153,000 miles. In the middle, your uh, outside temperature display, as well as clock. You can adjust the clock from right there in your passenger airbag on and off. This one does have the standard audio system from the Limited, which sounds great. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary, in, Bluetooth, XM satellite radio as well. Below all of that, your single zone manual climate control. Fan speed right there, your temperature, as well as AC and everything else. Heated seats for the driver and passenger as well as your front and rear defrost, and then all of your different zones. You can press the button for where you want the air to go. Storage underneath of that cover, as well as your auxiliary in and iPod, USB, power outlet. And then right here, this one does have the six-speed automatic transmission. Manual mode. And the very nice piano black trim around everything in the center. Matches on the parking brake and your shifter. In the middle, two cup holders, padded armrest, with storage inside. It is adjustable as well. You can slide it in and out. The seats are very comfortable. High quality leather and you can see for the amount of miles this one has, the leather is in great shape. The seats don't feel crushed at all either. They've really held up well. Up top, sunroof as well as your Bluetooth microphone. You have your sunroof controls, sunglasses container, and then your manually dimming review mirror visor with your vanity mirror. Light for that up top and you can turn the light on, close it, and it will cut it off. I mean overall for the money you can get this car for, it really is a great place to be inside. The amount of features it gives you and the way this car drives you really can't beat. I mean this would be a great first car. I would have, I would have killed for a first car this new as well as just a daily commuter, a car for Uber, Lyft, ride sharing, anything you need this can do. Go ahead and step out, pop the hood, and pop the trunk.
inside the back seat. Stepping in, you really have a great amount of room for a compact sedan like the Elantra. I mean, I'm 6'2", and I can comfortably sit behind myself, no problem. It's the same leather back here, follows through with the perforations in the middle. On the door itself, padded leather, padded armrest, your power window controls, and one really cool feature, especially for a car that is under $10,000, heated rear seat for both passengers. You can control that right there from the door. Back seat pocket. And you do have storage containers in the doors as well. Inside of the trunk, great amount of space, once again, especially for a compact sedan. You have your spare tire inflator kit underneath of there. Like I said, great amount of room. You have carpeted rear floor mats included with the vehicle, as well as your back seat releases up top. Pull those and it will fold flat. The Limited also does give you the nice carpeted accenting up top on your trunk. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. Once again, heated rear seats, very cool feature for a car like this. Up front, you have a manual passenger seat. And over here, storage, pulls a 12 volt outlet. And you can see this one does include all of the original owner's literature state inspection certificate right there. And up front you can see the halogen headlights as well as under the hood on the Elantra. This one does have Hyundai's 1.8 liter four cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. See, the car does have a relatively new looking battery under here as well. Very clean. Bring the driver's side window back up. It is automatic. Cut it off right here. Move the key. Headlights off. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.